Shalom Ras Tefari Ne Ras Yedinos Tefari Ne. I am Wendem Yadon reporting for Moa and Bessa, Zaim Negede Yehuda Machiber for the line of Judah Society in the Americas, the Caribbean, and throughout the world. And we are um, broadcasting on Ethiopian World Net. In case of emergency, try Ethiopian World Net 911. Um, as well as Rastafari Sabbatical, and that's on the YouTubes. But you can go to our main site, live streaming. Um, also, a lot of uh, um, documents, free documents on our study page, resource center. That's at Lion of Judah Society, or you can go direct to lojsociety.org. And want to just speak briefly. This is still in the midst of... Uh, of um, an, a study, an investigation that we have um, been engaged in um, concerning um, uh, the link with JFK um, and his imperial majesty and different presidents and as well as the imposter pope and the meeting of his imperial majesty with um, a particular pontiff um, and the connection of that with uh, the shepherd of Hermes which is one of the um which is one of the apocryphal uh, Christian books and documents that you know some say it, it doesn't belong others say it does for for us from an Ethiopian uh a a a a ritua or perspective from a true faith perspective it has much to do with it but right here I want to speak on the hashem now, this is one of the Wikipedia pages, right? One of the Wikipedia pages right here, and it's continually being, you know, updated, augmented. And the majority of the information, um, we would say, is um, pretty accurate. You understand? I mean, this is, is so much better than what many of us had. We had to search out things and search out books and search out documents. Um, but the the younger generation, the youths, them, they have a wonderful opportunity and don't be under Babylon's um, preoccupation and being occupied and possessed by all these false gods out there in these false ways and not learning your own divine heritage and your true root and the, and the mystery of God in Christ and, and the gospel, the good news of the King of Kings and his Christ. Yeshua HaMushi, our black Lord and Savior. Now, here I want to just touch on briefly, and we spent a couple of um, a couple of minutes, maybe a half an hour or so, um, doing a rough text on the name. And many of you already know that we've touched on the Ate matter, the Ate or the Ate, the Ate, the Ate matter, um, concerning... Um, Haile Selassie the first's name and and what is the true title of his imperial majesty and why is the name as we call it in the among the faithful Ethiopian Hebrews and elect Rastafari the name of his imperial majesty is the Hashem the Hashem now among Jews or Revelation 2, 9, 3, 9, folks, they would have another opinion, but we know that many of them, because they have not received the fullness of, of, of that um, revelation and, that, and, and Yeshua HaMushiach, you understand, some do and some are growing and learning, but this is for the, the once lost but now found, Beta Israel primarily. This is for we Ethiopian Hebrews, for the elect Rastafari. This is for the children of the Ethiopians who are likened prophetically to the children of Israel. We're speaking of the ethnic, our ethnicity as Ethiopian um, Hebrews. And here we're speaking on the name. In Hebrew, we say the name as the Hashem. And there's also the Adoshem, the Adoshem or the Adonai Shem. The Adonai Shem is Yeshua, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Now, let's just touch on this briefly. Now, this page, the reason why we're, we're on this page right now, and let's um, see if we can just zoom this, zoom this in a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
All right, let's zoom this in so we can get a, a, a relatively a relatively um, tight shot, right? So you can see right here that it has um, it has a uh, Haile or Haile Selassie, Haile Selassie, right? It says here Haile Selassie, I H S I or Kadamawi, really should say Kadamawi in the gut is it's Kadamawi Haile Selassie, and we showed you the documents from all of the imperial documents, the evidence. All right, this is what we say that the Atse thing, um, they keep trying to push it in to His Majesty's official title. And we looked at this page again, and I think it might have been updated recently because it seems to contain some additional information. So among a lot of the careless, we call it the careless generation, right, the careless Ethiopians, all right, and those who are generated or degenerated from that generation, they continue with this Atse, we call it the Atse thing. And if you check out some of the other vids, um, we speak more in detail about this Atse thing, right? And, and the reasons why we've gone into in some of the um, older dictionaries like Carl Eisenberg, a Christian missionary who wrote a very excellent um, period dictionary of that particular period because we find that even among the Amharic speakers and the Gutis, the Grinya speakers, we have different generations as you study language and linguistics. Now, when we speak about in the scripture, in um, which scripture is it? It's, uh, it's um, concerning Zephaniah, Zephaniah 3, 9, and 10, when it says that for then he would turn to the people, they, what a pure language when you were looking in our Bible. So, Dekam is a more brothers and sisters who are studying with us. Turn your Bibles to um, Zephaniah. You should already know this particular verse, but for some of the new ones who might just be watching some of these videos at first, some of this ground we have to at least, um, not just go over again, but at least refer to so that ones would have these reference points, right, to go to. When we go to uh, Zephaniah chapter 3, um, verses 9 and 10, it says, For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of yod heh wow -Hey in in the Tetragrammathon. But now we learn that there's actually a trigrammathon, right? In other words, Yah-Heh-Way. Yah-Heh-Way, without the final Hey, now, ones will say, oh, that's not true, because they're relying on one particular Torah, the Masoretic Torah, and don't recognize there were at least four different kinds of Torah. Even Yeshua HaMoshiach, he said to the Pharisees or the rabbis, the, rab, the, the, the rabbin or the rambam of his day, that your, doesn't your Torah say, doesn't your Torah say, Yehovah, so when we... Some, there's some people out here who are saying that Hawariya Paolo, so Hawariya Shaul was a false apostle because he's against the Lord, so forth and so on. They are in error, either covertly, overtly, either knowingly or unknowingly. You understand? They might think they know, they might know some things, but Hawariya Paolo, you understand, is true, and his testimony of Yeshua HaMoshi is true. He wasn't saying that there's no more Torah or no more law as many of the anti-Paulos or Paulos. We're speaking about the apostle, Hawaria Paulos. There's the Pope Paul in Rome, and then we have an Ethiopian kind of Pope Paul. So the name Paul gets kind of used a lot, like the name almost like Jesus. A lot of people say Jesus or so forth and so on. There's a lot of folks who say Yeshua. But they might not, and many times they don't have the right um, teaching. You understand they have a zeal, you understand, for the Lord, if you please. But it's not according to that knowledge of him. This is why we must study and show ourselves approved. So there's a pure language. So for us, this um, pure language is uh, codified, as we, we can say, you understand, or contained, right, within the Metzhaf Kedus, what we know as the Book of the Seven Seals, or his Imperial Majesty's Bible, the the 
Hyla Selassie the first authorized 19. 19- 61 revised Amharic Bible, or for short, the revised Amharic Bible. But now the Holy Spirit has inspired us to just call it what it is for us and to us. It's the Rastafari Amharic Bible. In other words, it's our Kedus or Holy Language Scripture. You know, in other words, this is, this is what Father has given us. This is what Abba has given to us. Now, With that being said, let's just uh, unveil this right here, um, just to show you. We showed it before, but we'll show it again. Here is a, a older, a older copy, right? Personal copy. This is a large copy, but here is what we mean by the seven seals on the back of the book: the Met Hafik Duset. Right, the book of the seven seals, Revelation five and five, revealed. All right, so we just wanted to show that, just just showing the evidence, pointing out the evidence, and we have more at our website and in other vids. We speak a little bit more and teach and do a little bit of study here and there, precept on precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. Now, on the particular issue of the name, the name, right, the name or the Hashem. When we say the Hashem, Samu, Samu, his name, all right? So we can see right here, they don't have Kedamawi here, right? There's no Kedamawi here. Like I said, we can refer to all the documentation, or all, all the official, um, as they call it, official government paperwork. Now, they all say that, well, they're Ethiopian, and, and, and they're native Ethiopian, rather, because are you not like the children of Israel? of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel. This is what, so we are the children of Israel, the once lost but now found, black sheep or black people, Yovas. But we have to make that connection. And many of our leaders and half a centric, so-called Afrocentric, they haven't really made that full connection. They've got stuck in Egypt, you know, but haven't gone, haven't found the, um, the, the source Right? They haven't really found the source of the now, you understand, or even the source of true Egyptology, if we will, because much of this really connects with that. And we're going to at least demonstrate a little bit right here. There's a couple of other evidences we want to show ones and ones so that ones and ones can see this for themselves when we speak about why um, there are some errors that we have found, right, and we find that these errors concerning his majesty's name, um, continue among many um, careless Ethiopians. We say they're careless on, on some various different levels, although we try to give, you know, give due where, where due is. Like this, this one right here is a, is a good documentary. You see the Keha Se? You see the Keha Se? Right, right here, the, the Ke, Kedamawi, Ha or Ha, Haile. The se, selase, the selase, right? But then if you look down here, what do you see? They put in this atse thing, right? And showing, showing rulers usually did not use the at, the the atse or the atte, right? It is an ancient, um, an ancient, an ancient, you could say, title for kings and rulers, and it has been used during Imperial Ethiopia with his Imperial Majesty, but it's not a part of the official Hashem, you know what I'm saying, or his regno name, you, or the, what we call the Praenomen name. And we're going to break that down and make that link with ancient Egypt. So this is, this is incorrect right here for us as elect Rastafari, right? This right here is also incorrect according to the official spelling, the official Fidel, and, and you can see it even right up here. Most would tell you, well, that's how they do it now, because we know that ones are in a state of ignorance. Otherwise, Ethiopia's situation would not be the way it is if they were not in a state of ignorance. So remember the word, the word in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All right, so we have to understand that. So right here, this is incorrect, incorrect Fidel. This is Hoi Ha instead of Harm, instead of the Harm. The harm, or ha, right? 
this is correct right here, this one, but this last one is not correct. This last one, right, should actually be like sat, sat here, like an adis, the the adis, the 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 the, the say as an adis. And you can see this up here, um, right here. You can see this up here, and in some of our additional um, notes that we um, have composed right here. Let's bring this up. All right, we're gonna get more into this too as well. Um, but you can see this a little bit better right here. So here we have, right here we have the Hashem, right? The Hashem, the name, right? The name right here. Now, um, I don't know how clear you can see this, but this is the proper, right? This is the proper. This is what is proper. And let's see if we can zoom this in a little bit so that ones can even see it a little bit better. All right? Okay, here we go. All right? Can, can we see this or is it too large? How, how does it look on the camera? Okay, let's see if we can move this. Move this over. All right, here we go. It is kind of large right there. Um, let us get, maybe we'll do one, one, two, five. Um, try one, two, five on the, okay, one, two, four. All right, so you can see it a little bit clearer here, right? This is the proper um, feed a lot, right? And we saw some incorrect feed a lot as well as additional Right, and of course they don't get no reference for it, but this is the proper and you can see it in the um in the Hiwatena Ethiopia the Ethiopia Rinja or my life in Ethiopia's progress and in other documentation. Yes, in some places I'd say does appear, but not as a part of the official right, the official what is known down here. Let's see if we can bring this up. Um not what is known down here as the throne name. You see the throne name, right? You see it's right here. This is the throne name, all right? Let's see if we can bring this one up a little bit more, right? So you can see this. Uh, all right, this is and this is what they had on their page that we're gonna we're gonna check on right there. So let's let's move this down. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is a little bit better right there. All right. So we have the throne name. Let's move that. Yeah. All right. The throne name. There we go. The throne name. Or the pre-nomen. What's called the pre-nomen. Nomen, like nomenclature. The naming, the pre-nomen, the throne name is Moa Anbesa Zeim Negede Yehuda. Moa Anbesa Zeim Negede Yehuda Kedamawi Chayle Chayle Selase Kedamawi Chayle Selase Here is Siyume Egezi Abher Siyume Egezi Abher Neguse Negesite Neguse negest. Ze it yo ya. Ze etiopia. All right, this is the official. This is this is the official prenomen, right? Or what they will call in the article they they refer to the name as the the regno name. But if you look at it from their perspective, they're trying to um define it according to the um, Anglo white western sense so that allows a lot of perhaps unstable or unlearned people to think that somehow it comes out of some medieval you understand sort of a way you over now you have to recognize a lot of the historians you understand the European historians as them who have you know um, been writing the books and a lot of our people have been playing hooky on on you know revealing and sharing what they know, especially in a time like this, there's very little excuse. That's why I've been encouraging so many of the brothers and sisters to really get out there and you know put up some blogs. We will help ones and ones towards publishing um, books. You understand? Know it's 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 not saying that one's going to overstand everything and 
some people think they're going to write a book and, and, and have the secret of, of life. We already have that book, but most don't have the faith that is the key to opening up that particular knowledge. So we're speaking here about this, the throne name, and there's a couple of web pages out here. Let's see if we can um, bring that up as well. Let's close up some of this right here, right? Let's close up some of this. All right. Now, this is actually was, uh, was we, we kind of got on to this particular, um, you know, we got on to this particular level of study right here. Um, like as we as we began to look up this particular information right here um, concerning Ethiopia, and it's it's a very I mean for free information and stuff like that. Now right here, Lich Teferi, Yovas, um, one who is respected. This is a lot. Of this is now at least coming into you know, better perspective, you know, now this information, you know, because we've had to blow up a lot of this, you know, the society has had to put out these vids and so forth and so on, and in a sense disabuse certain ones because they should know better. But still it's creeping in and it's still, okay, they said the regnal name, really pray nomen. If you really, if you click on this as we already had done, if you click on this, let's just go there so that ones can see exactly, exactly what we mean. If you click on this, another page is going to open up that's going to explain more about what they call the regnal name, right? And it's going to explain more from a, a um, okay, you see it right there, the reg, regnal name, which is like the king's name. Now, notice what they say right here, regnal name or reign name is a formal name used by some monarchs and popes during their reign. The term is simply the adjective regno of or relating to a reign, monarch, or kingdom modifying name. Then, as you see right here, it goes back to since medieval times, monarchs have frequently but not always chosen to use a name different from their own usual personal name when they inherit a throne. The regnal name is followed by an ordinal, usually expressed as a Roman numeral, in other words, among the Gentiles and in the, the white Western sense, in other words, in the European Anglo sense. But we have to recognize that when we're speaking about Ethiopia and we're getting into our true roots, it goes much deeper than that. In fact, in going forward right here, this is where you really have to look for the roots when you're going to link his Majesty, Haile Selassie, um, um, the African Zion, and really get his true roots. You have to go on the ancient rulers and throne name and link it with Egypt, ancient Egypt, since ancient Tobia or ancient Ethiopia was the source, the, 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 the waters, the culture. Even within ancient Egypt, they say that the rulers came from the new. You understand? And that was pointing to the the old, the good land, or the land of the gods, the net, which was the highlands, or what we call today Ethiopia. Now it says ancient rulers in many parts of the world took regnal names or throne names, as His Imperial Majesty's throne name is Kedamawi Haile Selassie. That is the throne name. Now Gormawi, of course, is 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 added to it to say. So when you say Gurmawi Kedamawi, that has a sense of his imperial majesty, or Gurmawi has within it the sense of um, his, his, his majesticness, his awesomeness, you know, and as well as his terribleness, you know what I'm saying, um, within the context of the language. But that's a whole um, study of, of the roots of, 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 of the words, right? So it says right here that this is known to be true, for instance, of several kings of Assyria, and it appears to be the case for several kings of Judah. You see how they're writing? They say it appears to be the case. Because more and more information is coming forward, and Ethiopia is the imperial Ethiopia is the best example. But see, it, it depends on us studying it and bringing those, those truths to light. 
We can't wait for, you know, um, History Channel or the BB, uh, BBS, BBBC or, or CNN or, you know, Fox News or somebody like that. We got to get on the network ourselves and create our own media network, you know what I'm saying, and start reporting, you know what I'm saying, as we come across this, these sort of informations, you know what I'm saying, and start to work with others and, and start to build up these um, these um, archives, as it were, you know what I'm saying, so that hopefully our children and those generations to come won't have as much, uh, 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 you know, um, difficulty and won't be in a sense of, of utter ignorance as many of us have been. But now there's also a, a, a scriptural and a prophetical. We're just touching on the historical data right now, like just doing this forensics part right now. You know, we're going, and then once we do that and we start to look at the prophetic and look at the scripture, it becomes very easy now to understand the Rastafari revelation, to really see this, the fullness of this coming as that light, as it says in, in, in Matthew 24, coming from the east and shining to the west. Yovas and overstanding the fullness of this and what time we're in. So it is, does appear to be the case of several kings of Judah because we are already showing you right over here where this is the very case with Edomawi Haile Selassie. This is, this is the very case of, of, upon which and about which we're speaking, right? So then it says in ancient Egypt, so we have ancient Egypt right here, Pharaohs, it's not really Pharaohs, you see, this is a whole other su subject matter. Uh, Pharaoh means great house. Pharaoh was to refer to the the the, uh, the dynasty. You understand, or really refer to the great house, the palace, like we would say the White House. You know, like it says, and and the White House has said the house, the building itself doesn't say nothing, but the occupants and those who are part of that administration or that reign or that regime, as one would say, they are speaking on behalf. Sometimes it's an inside and doesn't give any name. You see, so a lot of folks try to dismiss our story, speaking of the, of the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible, by saying, oh, how come the name of the Pharaoh is not named and so forth and so on. And many ones have been cursing their, their own ancestors in ignorance. You know what I'm saying? Saying that, well, these things never happen because they are coming from a Gentile mistranslation. You know what I'm saying? A white Western and racist too. We, we can't leave that out. It's a shame that we have to even say that, but that's the fact of the matter. It's a white Western and oftentimes racist paradigm. And this is why these halves of the story, this is why this truth is so suppressed and so hard for one to get it because they went to college. They may have studied some of these things, but they have not learned as much perhaps as in maybe certain videos or, or other people's blogs or writings or some of these sort of teachings. Well, that, that's how it, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And he be who he be, his divine majesty. So in ancient Egypt, pharaohs, it shouldn't really say pharaohs. And very soon you're going to see updates, you know, because a lot of other brothers and sisters and ones who have been studying this and been presenting the evidence. Unfortunately, a lot of us who do these sort of things, and many of y'all don't even, we don't publish more. This is why the Ministry of His Majesty, LOJ Society, has been publishing. So you can check out our books page and see some of the available books, our books, some old books that are out of copyright or out of print, reprints of them. You know, saying as well as some of our own original, you understand, revelation studies and 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 translations as we have done with the Fikari Yesus and the the Good News of His Majesty and other documents as well. So check that out for yourself. It's really supposed to be Sutin. Sutin will be more a little bit more correct. That's like to say King, right? Or Sa, the Sa Ra, the you know, like the princes in that sense, right? It, it, it should really mean that the pharaohs were like, it's like saying the White Houses took a number of names. It's not the White House, you see, because Pharaon or Peron in, in the ancient uh, Metunet uh, means great house, right? So this is the era right here, but they, 
the, the, the Sutan bonds or the Sutan rays, they took prenomens, the kings, the rulers. You say the Negus or the Negest, right? The Negest, the Negestoch. They took uh, different prenomens, right? The prenomen, it was the most commonly used on occasion in conjunction with their personal name. So we see that if we, if we look at his majesty and look at Ethiopia, right, from those that has Ethiopia right here, other realms. Let's see what it says in other realms. Okay, in other realms it says down here, it says in the Ethiopian Empire, especially during the Solomonic Dynasty, because it's not a dynasty, Babylon dynasty, we have dynasty, right? Uh, many emperors, or Negusa Negest, taught, would take a throne name. Though this was not a general practice, a great number of rulers would remain known during their reign by their birth names. Yakuno Amlak, the founder, as it said, of the Solomonic dynasty, um, took his father's name. He wasn't really the founder. He was the refounder in that sense. You understand? The refiner or refinder. Um, Tesla Yesus as his throne name, um, um, Yega Bitu uh, Sion, his son and heir, took the throne name Solomon um, after the biblical figure. Amda Sion took the throne name Gebra Meskel, or slave, really, that it should be servant. It's really servant of the cross, but they, they translate slave of the cross. Tedros, uh, Kedamawi Tedros, was Welda Anbesa, in other words, he was son of the lion, uh, Sarwe, uh, Sarwe Yesus was uh, Mehreka uh, 9, distributor of your, the Lord's mercy, um, Teferi Mekonin, the last sovereign emperor of Ethiopia, so he is Kedamawi Haile Selassie, right, Haile Selassie first, not just I, that I there, that's Roman, you, you have to understand, I cannot enter, in that sense, it's Kedamawi, right? Haile Selassie. So the I is really means first. It's overstand first. You understand? Really the one that goes before the first, in, in other words. Anyway, um, but it's the father. The father is making all of the son's enemies the son's footstool. That's what the visitation of his majesty is all about from the eschatological prophetic. But he took the name. They say he took the throne name. Haile Selassie, the power of the Trinity, is Kedamawi Haile Selassie, first power of the Trinity, but that's based on that baptismal name, which is another aspect of the prophecy right there about that man-child being snatched up to God and to his throne, and we know this throne is the throne of David. Then it's talked about other African nations, but what they try to separate right here, they try to separate Ethiopia, right, and, and, and this part was under ancient, was it under ancient, um, ancient, ancient rulers. We're saying to you right here, in a I Rasia Dinos Teferi Wendem Yarden, Brother Yarden is saying that this is the real root. It's really the prenomen, and this is why we have this text here that we just wanted to work out this kind of very raw. You understand? This is in a very raw way. We. We, 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 we done did this kind of text right here, but now we're thinking more to print this and, you know, speaking on the name, because a lot of folks don't understand the name of the King of Kings, right? This is his seal. Let's understand that the name of the King of Kings is his particular, is his particular seal, right? His particular seal. So now that we just made that link right there, let's, let's kind of return over here. Right, let's return one more time. Okay, we have um, this right here, and let's see if we can bring this. Um, okay, let's bring this over if we can, all right, so we can see this front and center. and won't have to um, turn the camera round and round. All right, so we have, if, as you can see this right here, we got um, his his birth name, but let's go down here something right over here that kind of caught our interest. We might have to do this because it will be a little bit larger when we when we bring this up right here. All right, so turn that right there. Here we go. All right, so if we go down here, 
I think it's actually go scroll up here where it speaks about all right. Well, so this is a beautiful picture, early life. This is Rastafari. That's Rastafari. The Mekwanen, right? Rastafari Mekwanen. And this is interesting because some folks have tried to lie and lie about it, and we had to do a couple of vids on it. And ones were trying to say that we didn't have the facts, and then others actually backed us up with even more evidence, and we give thanks that Haile Selassie I's royal line or lineage through his father's mother originated from the um, Hara, right, originated from the um, Amhara, right, the Amhara people, right, from the Amhara people. But he also had Ormo and Gorage roots, you know, because some, you see, what's happening is the enemy is playing divide and conquer with the Ethiopian people. We forward it to the Ethiopian World Net um, Facebook, um, the FBI, Facebook Info. We kind of updated, you know, those in the outer court right there with a video, uh, uh, a harsh harvest, a video called Harsh Harvest, right? And that kind of shows you some of the results of this kind of COINTELPRO. Yes, COINTELPRO is international, folks. You, you know what I'm saying? Because what they were able to do to the children of Israel, you understand, the lost sheep, you understand, the children of Judah, so I and I in the diaspora, they are also seeking to do the men and the people and the, and the, the demonic activity to Ethiopia, you understand, at home. That's why she's going through so much, and we say pray for the peace of Ethiopia. In fact, that helps us to segue into this right here, right, or is it this page right here, all right, um, Pray for the peace of Ethiopia. Now, let's click on this one right here, right? Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hands. And this is from the Ethiopia Kingdom, Ethiopia Kingdom of God page right here. And we say support this particular um, effort. Check it out for yourself. In fact, we have mentioned in other vids, this particular book, Ethiopia, the classic case, a biblical nation under God that survived great trials for 7,490 years. Well, now it's 7,505 years since we're in a new year of its existence and ordained to invoke divine judgment and condemnation of the world. And this is from um, Ermias Kabeda Wode Yesus in the Bora Id, or the Keep of Oxum. Right, um, he asks the question: Will the present generation of humanity hearken this time to the divine warning in order to avert another imminent universal cataclysm? Right, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Now, this is the 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 writer of this book, also the the um one who is behind the Ethiopia Kingdom of God services, um. Ermias Kabeda Wode Yesus, the Nabura Id, and Nabura Id is a, a post and position, means keeper of oxen. He was appointed by his imperial majesty. And um, we've been in dialogue, other brothers and sisters have also been in dialogue with him. Um, we find him to be a, a Ethiopian of um, exceptional faith and, 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 and um, intellectual, spiritual knowledge, but mainly his, it's his courage to at least hold to the ancient truths. We think that he has fallen into that category of the blame Haile Selassie, the first crowd. But hopefully, as it says in the scripture, that if we, um, you know, do the will of God in Christ, ones will see our good works, as Rastafari, and they will glorify our Father. So this might also be helpful to um, reaching out to the blame Haile Selassie, the first crowd. A lot of Ethiopians, they put the blame on his majesty. They fall for the lies. Instead of recognizing, you understand the revelation of Aras Tefari. All right, so this is his website right here. And in collecting a couple of images and links, um, we came across this right here again. We call for repentance. They say to uh, pray for um um, pray in the fast for the peace of Ethiopia. It says, um, 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 what does to pray and fast for the peace of Ethiopia mean? To pray and fast for the peace of Ethiopia means to prioritize 
the transformation of oneself, of oneself back or really forward to the true Ethiopianness of the Holy Covenant, the Al Kidan, right, through repentance. And he has um, some more information here on the internet as well. Not going to go through um, all of this um, information right now, but what we'll probably do is just save, save this. You probably have saved it before, but we'll save it again, right? And let's just go forward right here, close this up. We want to show you Rastafari and just touch on his roots because they've been using um, divide, you know, these kind of divide and conquer um, strategies. They've been using these divide and conquer strategies against Ethiopian um, people. And now when we look at all that we know, all about the New World Order, Illuminati, the Freemasons, and all of this conspiracy, it, it kind of makes sense why His Majesty took the stance he did. And if you really look at the generation who was seeking to push His Majesty in Ethiopia in another direction, his Majesty was trying to warn them, but they never got that early warning. And we see this kind of repeated, uh, even in the global level. And there's always catastrophic, you know, pain and death and, 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 and hurt when ones have not listened to the Hashem, have not listened to Negus and Negesh. As we say, uh, His Majesty, many of us, Rastafari, we say, He is God and King of Kings. But we need to understand what and who God is according to our own divine heritage. You know what I'm saying? Thus, the ministry of his imperial majesty and the society of his imperial majesty, the line of Judah, and, and our ministry and our fellow brothers and sisters as we seek to encourage others to go forth and to report and to, you know, it's not to have any fellowship, you know what I'm saying, with these um, unfruitful works as Ephesians 5, you know, as Ephesians 5, 11 reminds us, it, it says to, to um, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, the so-called Illuminati, the world rulers, the enemies of the King of Kings and Christ, but rather reprove them, but rather expose them, right? For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done, of them in secret. You understand? But all things that are reproved, are exposed, are made manifest by the light, the true light. For what at whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, the sleeper awake, right? And arise from the dead, from the mutant. As we know, Negro means de black death, because Omega at the end of Niger, and Niger and Niger is in the Bible, Nigeria, Niger, we got all that there as well. So the Moshiach shall give them light. You understand? The Moshiach, the anointed, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. I mean, look what happened, 9-11, Ethiopia's New Year. Ain't that something? So we've got to redeem the time. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding or overstanding of what the will of Adonai, of Gita, of the Lord, if you please, of our true Masa, our true Masa, our black Lord and Savior, Shua HaMoshiach, really is. So, yeah, they use a lot of the um, divide and kind of conquer, you know, um, you know, try to have the Oromos against, I'm hard, I'm hard against the Oromo Tigra. Same thing do for us over here. You know, in the Afro-American against the West Indian, the West Indian against the Hispanic, Hispanic against it, and, and everybody Haitian against this one. You know, have everyone, you know, you, you, you understand that. David et Empira was what it was called in, in Rome, right? And the only peace they give you is the so-called Pax Romana. In other words, if you do the, what, what Rome tells you to do, you understand, they, uh, they won't massacre you. You understand, they won't drop WMDs, weapons of mass destruction or weapons of mass distraction. You understand, they'll make you the star of the movie. They'll give you your own TV show or something like that. Like we see a lot of the, the ones who are selling out, selling their soul. You understand, for the baubles of the world. 
So the word says for us to be what? To be not like fools, not to be unwise, to be wise. So we have to touch on the name right here. And this is why um, this kind of interlude right here into the Hashem. What is the Hashem? You understand? What, what, what the Rastafari Hashem is Kadamawi Haila Salase. But we have to understand the link of this name. Right, we'll pick up on the on, on, on the imposter pope kind of stuff, you understand, because that's 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 important too. That's like a revelation. This right here, this teaching on the high shim is more foundational. Because we hear a lot of ones calling his majesty as so called Rastas and Rastafari call him all sort of stuff. Like Rasta for I, like for I, you know. I mean yes, we've done that. Many of us have done that in ignorance. You understand? And that was a sin, that was an error. But he winks, as the scripture said, he winks at the times of, of ignorance. You understand? But he calls all to repentance. That means to turn around from that way once we recognize what the truth is. All right? So we, we talk about, well, how come we're the way we're, we, we are? Probably knowing what we know, we, why do we continue to do what, we, what we're doing? In those core elements of our liberty, you know what I'm saying? Because we have to put, prioritize, as um, on Ethiopia Kingdom of God page, he, I think he even said it. He even said it very well on this particular page right here, um, where he says, um, "What does to pray and fast, right? What does to pray and fast um, mean?" He says. Uh, a pray, a pray and fast for the peace of Ethiopia. Me. He should put in that psalm right there. You know what I'm saying? Put in that psalm. Um, yeah, um, I was glad when they said unto I. Really, you know, you have to back it up, bro. Anyway, um, but he was correct here in spirit. He says to pray and fast for the peace of Ethiopia means to prioritize. The transformation, we call it the new birth, be born again. We call it to follow the Son of Man, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, right, in, in the regeneration, you understand, in the regeneration, but the transformation of oneself back, where we say, you know, forward, you understand, forward, because this idea that, oh, we were, we have to get back to the way we, we were in that sense. No, we have to get to where Yah would have us. You know what I'm saying? Where where Father would have us, where Yeshua would, would have us. You know what I'm saying? So forward ever, backward never, forward to the true Ethiopianness of the Holy Covenant through repentance, or to the true word of God in Christ, the true teaching of his imperial majesty. We simplify it like that, but we still say our woe and our main to the efforts right here, and we support it, and we encourage all of you all as well. You understand to even get some of his books. You might not agree with certain things, but the foundational teaching is right and exact. He's one of the few that recognizes the true church within the professing church. But unfortunately, him and others like him, you know, the intellectual, some of that careless intellectual generation, still are about blaming his majesty, right? They're, they're the blame Hala Selassie, the first crowd. I think he might be growing out of it, you understand, but... um. So be it. You know, we love him, but we don't love love those 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 lies or those errors right there because it, it basically takes the responsibility away from us. Right? His Matthew said, "I'm a man. I'm mortal. I'll be replaced by the oncoming generation." You understand? So we are that oncoming generation, right? At home and abroad, the two families, two houses of the yod hey wow hey or the Lord. Now, here they say that um, Haile Selassie, meaning power of the Trinity, really the whole name is Kedamawi Haile Selassie. I mean, just to show you this one more time, right? Let me just show you this one more time. Do you, do you see this right here? Do you see this right here? You see? Ke for Kedamawi, Ha for Haile, Se for Selassie. Right, but you notice what they do. They 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 take out the k, right? They take out the k. You know, they take that out and they just put it like this. That could be. Uh, there's a lot of people that have that name. They're not Kedamawi Haile Selassie. There was an another another person who had Haile Selassie during the time of his imperial majesty, and he was like um, almost like a blood clot uh, Judas Askarotawi. 
you know what I'm saying, to his majesty. He betrayed, you know what I'm saying, but he had the name Haile Selassie, but he didn't have the name Kedamawi, Haile Selassie. You understand? All right? So anyway, let, let, let's just go on right here just briefly with this, um, just a little further. So it says, meaning power of the Trinity. Generally speaking, yes, that is true. But first power of the Trinity, you understand, that now is, is revelation. That, that brings us into revelation territory. It's like they go just short of that. You understand? I don't know if it's knowingly or unknowingly. I guess each individual is a, you know, every individual, you know, there's eight main stories, as we used to say out here in, 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 in the ghetto, the Hebrew, the Hebrew ghettos, right? Um, but Haile Selassie's full name in office, I don't know what they mean by in office, in office. You come on the throne. In office, you understand? <laughs> you know, funny. These are some funny, funny guys. You know, smart, funny Ethiopians living like guys, right? Um, and funny guys out there. Um, 